Alright, even though this is a restaurant that has vegan food, obviously an aquarium is a fish zoo and it's not vegan, but we're going to try the food here. This is their drink menu. They have some zero food. And sparkling wine. And these. So you can see our table is right here. There's different distances from the actual aquarium. In the window. And somewhere much further away, depending on where you get seated. I can't do the Plant-based moose. We think what's vegan is the reef salad. The mushroom ravioli, is that mushroom. gone? I don't see any mushroom ravioli. Uh, and the chocolate wave? No. We don't know. We don't know what it is. We have to find out. These things change very often. All right, apparently this is the second largest tank in the world. They're going to feed the fish within an hour. They're getting hungry. And I think he said like 5 million gallons, something like that. Turns out this is the same tank that's on Nemo and Friends, which is the aquarium here in the park. And you can see the windows back there. That's where we were over there on that side earlier. It's the same tank, up to 7,500 fish in here. So you can see this is Denise's view right now of her lunch. There's fish swimming by. It's the reef restaurant here. And it's like, yeah, almost six million gallon tank with almost, look at that giant fish. Almost 8,000 creatures in there. That's not yeah. a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's another big one. Look at that. Whoa. Like those sharks that we swam with in Hawaii. Yeah, look, it's, it's, look at you, Denise, swimming around. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Do they have uh, vegan rolls and vegan butter if you ask for that? Of course, I'm not getting the vegan butter, but apparently Denise might have some, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. While you're eating your, your roll. Uh, here's the salad. It looks like lots of nuts. Lots of nuts. Does the fish like it? They give us an extra plate because we're trying one of everything with three vegan dishes. A bit like it. The dressing's good. I, I do taste a bit of salt again. Pomegranate vinaigrette is really good. Yeah, it's a little salty. Don't you feel it on your Oily lips? too, yeah, <laughs> oily. A lot of the vegan food here is fatty because of the walnuts and oil, you know, and, and salt. But it's good, but it's going to gain weight here eating vegan. And they don't recognize vegan. It's dietary restrictions. I don't think Walt Disney liked vegans. School of fish going by. These two turtles. Wrestling? What are they doing? <laughs> this is the main course. All right, so this is going to try the gyoza, mushroom gyoza ravioli. Well, uh-oh. It's good. It has a really earthy taste to it. Earthy? Right. Mm. Well, it's interesting and different. I like it. Don't forget to make your reservations for here. You have to make reservations far in advance, right, Denise?
a certain. Considering this looks so good, we are going to have to cut this in portions now before we begin eating. Also, the fish might like it too. That shark is slow. Yeah, there's a surprise inside, and I think this is alcoholic, so be careful with the rest of the day. I'm not sure where the alcohol is. It's in the cream. This looks like a grown-up ice cream truck type of thing. The grown-up. These fish are nowhere to be found. Oh, here comes one. Uh, they don't seem to like chocolate, I guess. What do you think of it, Denise? Got to speak up. Really good. Really good. Really good. Uh oh, look at. Oh, there's a shark. Mm -hmm. Bailey scream. Yeah, be careful. Mine collapsed. Yeah, you can taste the alcohol in here. You're gonna have to caffeinate up after this, most likely, to make it through the rest of a hot, sunny day. All right, somebody does like this, right here. I'd say that this dessert is super good, and I wish it didn't have alcohol in it, that's all. I wish you could get without the alcohol. Did you, would you think you'd go back to that restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, just make sure that maybe one day they won't have the aquarium, because that's not vegan. <laughs> 